Good evening, sports fans. I guess we were on the air. Now and we're on. Now we're, we are on now. This is Trace Cree and Mike Perry. We'll be bringing you the boys game here from Ellsworth. We just, as you probably saw, we witnessed the girls losing a thrilling overtime game. Mike's daughter made a three-pointer that put us into overtime, but we, we couldn't quite overcome Ellsworth. The boys here are undefeated in the league. We're 4-0, and I believe Ellsworth is 2-2 in the league. So if everything would go right, we should win tonight. But that's easier said than done, Mr. Perry. Both that's a lot easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> Both teams are still taking practice here. We're about a minute 47 seconds away from tip off. Nice gym, nice crowd. Crowd's pumped up after their victory there. 46-41, Ellsworth over our Lady Lions, and uh, pretty nice game. Uh, good to see ladies scoring that many points. Yeah, yeah they hung in there. I, matter of fact, I thought at one time in overtime we had them, but that proves it's never over till it's over. Lions have a new look. But, well, they've had them for several games now, the new uniforms or the warm-ups. Uh, Dale's uh, out of town, so I'm substituting and uh, not real good at this camera operation. So bear with me. I'll try and keep most of the game in the screen, but uh, I guarantee you I get into the game and we're just and I, I have her pointing the wrong way sometimes. Well, <laughs> we're, we're just volunteers. We don't make the big bucks. So if anybody wants to give it a third try, just let me know. We're ready for starting introductions. We're ready for the f national anthem, excuse me. We will be right back. Now. All right, folks, here will be the starting introductions for the Lions and the Bearcats. For Minneapolis, a 5'9 junior, number four, Ryan Mortimer. Ryan Mortimer, starting guard for the Lions, number four. Lions are in the blue, Ellsworth the white. Brad Barta, 21 for the Ellsworth. For Minneapolis, 5'11 sophomore, number 10, Ryan Weedle. Ryan Weedle, number 10, sophomore guard. For Ellsworth, 5'9 junior, number 23, Tyler Bailey. Tyler Bailey for the Bearcats. For Minneapolis, 5'10", Jr., number 32, Brandon Crum. Brandon Crum, number 32 for the Lions. For Ellsworth, a 5'6", Sr., number 25, Brandon Rohr. Brandon Rohr for the Lions, or Bearcat. For Minneapolis, 6'3", Sr., number 33, Josh. Josh Lott, senior for the Lions. Brandon Pottek. Pottek, we would say for Minneapolis. They say Pottek. For Minneapolis, a 6'7 senior. 6'7, seven, Luke Weedle rounds out the starting lineup for the Lions. For Ellsworth, a 6'2 junior, number 33, Drew Britton. Drew Bredden, 33, kind of looks like a small kid out there compared to Luke. Twist and shout thing. Well, it is. that's that's a good way to put it. I was trying to think of something to say there, and uh, I guess twist and shout. So well, they huddle up and uh, have a last word with each other. I guess. Yeah, they pound the floor, and let's hope they can, that enthusiasm carries over to the game. We're just seconds away from tip off. Both teams have taken the court. Undefeated in the league, the Lions versus two and two Ellsworth. Big crowd here tonight, and here we go. Tip off, con controlled by Ellsworth. 
Luke had the tip there, went to yep. Josh, and he couldn't handle nope. it. Nope. Ball's out of bounds and belongs to Ellsworth. 10 seconds gone in the game. Ellsworth inbounds the ball. Lions in a man to man. Ellsworth waiting for their shot. For three points. Oh. <laughs> Ball comes way to the Lions. Josh Lott over to Weedle. Weedle inside from five feet. Foul on Ellsworth. Lions control the ball. 7-19 left, opening quarter. Crum with the ball. He finds Lott. Lott out to Mortimer. Mortimer drives from eight feet. Yes. Gives the Lions a two to nothing lead. Ellsworth having a little trouble with the full court press there. People are falling everywhere, Mike. The Lions come away with Brandon Crum. He'll take her in himself. Lays her up for two. Lions, four to nothing. Our press can call people trouble, Mike. Well, they had us with a foul there. Yes. Ellsworth trying to work their way through a double team. <laughs> They're going to have to figure our press out or it'll be a long night for the Bearcats. Ellsworth inbounds the ball. Double teamed. There's a bad pass. Out of bounds. The ball belongs to the Lions. Boy, that can be a frustrating defense when they put pressure oh, on. Oh, yeah. I can just drive a team nuts. There's Josh Lott from 17. Yes. Six to nothing, the Lions lead. We steal the ball again, Lot. But it's good. Eight to nothing. There's a timeout, folks, by Elver. They gotta try to figure this out, Mr. Perry. Well, I hardly had a chance to reach my coach, Skinner, and we're eight nothing. Yes. I don't think the, defense. I don't think the score people caught up with the game yet, have they? They got it six to nothing. I think it's eight. Yeah. I'm sure somebody will get that corrected. Coach Williams talking to the Lions down here. Lions are ready to hit the floor again. Well, I still think it's eight to nothing, but. Yeah, we must have eight points. We're yelling at the scorekeeper. It's more than just you and I. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Eight to nothing. Everybody can relax now. Ellsworth trying to inbound the ball. Oh, man. Weedle on a foul. Call Luke on a foul there. And I really didn't see that. Six minutes, 42 seconds left. Opening quarter, Lions lead eight to nothing. There, Ellsworth across the center court. Pawtech knocks the ball out of bounds. It belongs to the Lions. Tell you what, I watched that kid run AAU. He can run an 800 meter. Yeah, he ran with the Cox kid and the kid from Beloit and another kid from Sacred Heart. They were pretty salty. There's Luke Weedle. Nice bucket there by Luke. Lions jump out to 10 to nothing lead. Elwer across the center court. Larry lays it in, number 21, that's Brad Barta for Ellsworth. Lions quickly up the court. Mortimer to Luke Weedle. Luke, little hard pass there, out of bounds. Big lead inbounds the ball. Full court pressure by the Lions. There they cross center court. Brandon Crum steals the ball. He's going in for the layup. That's that second time he's done to Mike. He's got some quick hands, yeah. hasn't he? Yes, he does. Weedles with the ball. 
in the Josh Lott. He's fouled, folks. He'll go and shoot two. 12 to 2. Minneapolis with some pressure defense here. Oh. Kind of turned it up a notch and Ellsworth fighting it. Oh, the Ellsworth has not quite figured out what they want to do. If they don't figure it out quickly, they won't have a chance. 12 to 2. Lot to shoot two. That looked short, didn't it? Yes, it did. I thought the minute he shot that, it was going to be short, and it was. He'll shoot one more. Josh Lott, a senior. Second shot's up. It's good. 13 to 2. Five minutes, 35 seconds left. Opening quarter. Ellsworth has it. We wanted a foul. We didn't get it. There's Ellsworth for two. Too hard. Luke Wheeler with the rebound. One of the leading rebounders in the league, in the area. Mortimer. Too hard. Ryan Wheeler comes away with the ball. Brandon Crum for three. Yes. 16 to two. Lions lead. Three minutes gone. There Ellsworth broke the press quite. There they're going to get Mortimer for a foul. Quick down the floor, he thought he had a layup, but Mr. Mortimer was right on yeah, it. Oh, tail. yeah, he's quick as grease lightning. Here comes Lot out, and Mortimer. Zucker and Kaiser come in for the Lions. Four minutes, 59 seconds left. First quarter, Lions lead 16 to 2. Ellsworth with the ball. Thought. Kaiser had a pretty good shooting night over at White Rock there. They had a three-pointer and a couple of buckets over there. See, Brad is a um, senior. Yes, he is. Six-foot-three senior. Crum with the ball. Over to Weedle. Luke Weedle with the ball. Crum. Crum from eight feet. In there. Yes, sir. Lions with a 16-point lead. 18 to 2. Ellsworth across the center court. Foul on Zucker. Brandon Crum off to kind of a fast start here. Yes, too. he is. He, he, that three, shot. Three-pointer and a couple of layups. Yeah, he's looking good. He's off to... Good start. Ellsworth with the ball. From 15 feet. Too hard. No good. Ellsworth comes away with the... He lays it in. Number 30. Brandon Potocic. Zoe Zucker with the ball. Weedle. Into Kaiser. Over to Mortimer. He saved the ball. Luke Weedle under the bucket. He's fouled by number 33. Drew Britton. Three minutes, 58 seconds left, 18 to four. If we keep this up, we'll have a 150 point game, Mike, at the pace we're going. Brad Kaiser gets the rebound, puts it right back up. Bucket's good. All this running, I'm getting hungry. Oh, man. <laughs> Foul on Zucker. Here comes Weedle back in and Josh Lott. Luke Weedle comes out and Brandon Crum. Coach keeps calling for that number four. Isn't that a big mac and fries? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, that's, what, that's what I would think of. 50 fat grams. Ellsworth. Oh, man, I'll tell you. The refs must be feeling sorry for Ellsworth is all I can figure out, Mike. They're catching a few hometown breaks here, but they are behind 20 to 4. Three minutes, 37 seconds left. Ellsworth, oh, ball's being fought for. Zucker comes away with it off to Ryan Weedle. Charging foul on Weedle. Terrible call, terrible. <laughs> I know why referees run to the locker room after the game. <laughs> Three minutes, 27 seconds left. Ellsworth under the bucket. 
Uncontested. 20 to 6. Mortimer. Ryan Weedle. Fakes a three. Dribbles. Double dribble on Weedle. I think he kind of caught it on his yeah. hip there a little bit. Ellsworth's ball. Patacek into Roar. <laughs> Foul on Zucker. Get control of the game because yeah. those striped shirt guys are not having much luck. <laughs> That's right, by golly, it's it's fast and furious. More substitution for the Lions. Weedle comes out and Zucker comes out. Crum comes back in. That was worth in the one and one already. Wow. A eight fouls on the Lions in five minutes of action. That's a lot. Wow. They have three fouls, but we have a 13-point lead, but they can whittle it down to 12 here. And that he does. 20 to eight, Lions with the ball, Crum. Over to Weedle. Luke Weedle with the ball. Over to Mortimer. Mortimer, Weedle from downtown. Off, no good. Ellsworth has the ball. Two minutes, 52 seconds left. Been 11 fouls called already. Ellsworth across the center court. Oh, they had, Ryan Weedle steals the ball. Ryan Mortimer. Brad Kaiser for 15, yes. Nice shot by Brad, pulled yeah. up with a little late footer there. 22 to 8. Lions lead. Two minutes. I think everybody had that call. <laughs> he's like Patsy Klein. He's walking. Weedle with the ball. He'll bring her up. 22 to 8. Lions lead by 14. Weedle crosses half court. Over to Crum. Inside to Luke Weedle. He takes her in. Yes, lays it in left-handed. You like that left hand, don't you? Well, you got to. He can use either hand, folks. He's a ball player. 24 to 8. Two minutes. Ellsworth looking for their shot. Ellsworth from 15. They have Mortimer for a foul. Dad Mortimer is getting a little frustrated. That's his second foul. Yeah. I think the officials want to have everybody with a foul before the end of the quarter. That's the second one on. Maybe two. Maybe two. I mean, we're. No good. Kaiser comes away with it. Gives it off to Weedle. Weedle to Kaiser. Crum. Crum inside to Weedle. A little turnaround. No good. He fights for the rebound. Kaiser comes up with it. Mortimer. Off. No good. Kaiser foul. Minneapolis with two or three good chances. Yeah, there. yeah. You... Especially that one in close. Oh, yeah. I thought we'd get one of them, too, but we didn't. Minute 24 left. That's the 10th foul on the Lions. From here on out, Eldorf will shoot two free throws. I don't like that. Put him in that double bonus that early. If... I don't think I've ever seen it. Not this early, but we have tonight. Ellsworth makes the first shot. Well, the free throws are keeping a minute. Yep. That's about all. 24 to 9. 24 to 9. It stays Weedle with the rebound. Crum. Knocked out of bounds by the Bearcats. Lions retain possession. Mortimer into Weedle. Kaiser looks for Luke Weedle. He's going to get her. Yes. 
I think that's going to be available most of the night. I yeah, think. I mean, that's been a given all night, and I see nothing that's going to change that. One minute left, 26 to 9. Lions with a 17 point lead. Ellsworth over it. Foul. I think we need to go back to the days of two officials. <laughs> First shot's good. Ryan, we have a second foul. I think everyone yep. not got two fouls. Yep. The coach will have to dig deep into the bench tonight, it looks like, folks. Mortimer with the ball. Oh, he's fouled. Mortimer will inbound the ball. And we threw it away. And we threw it away. We threw it and nobody was home. Ellsworth with the ball, 47 seconds left. First quarter action. Out front, over to the corner. Nice block by Luke Weedle. He's going to be charged for a foul. Nice block on that first one, and then he got him back up here yeah. again. And he tried to block it again. Called for a foul. 32 seconds left. Ellsworth at the line again. They're living there. Yes, they make it. Uh, they sure are. Twenty-six, twelve. Twenty-six, twelve. Kaiser with the ball off the Weedle. Ryan crosses center court. Twenty-seven seconds left. First quarter. Crumb. Back to Weedle. Lions will take one shot, I believe. Weedle back to Crumb. Over to Luke Weedle up front. Over to Mortimer. Ten seconds left. There's Weedle from downtown. No good. Ellsworth with the ball. That's the end of the first quarter. Boy, I'm surprised they didn't call a foul there, Mike Barry. Tor He's coming from behind there. I thought they could almost got him with a foul, but it's a nice defensive play yes. by Brandon. That's the end of the first quarter, folks. 26 to 12. Minneapolis was some pressure defense, but uh, a lot of fouls. A lot of, yeah, along with that pressure defense can come a lot of fouls. I wonder how many, hey, Jerry? No, that work. We're trying to see how many out of the 12 points they have, how many free throws they have. Oh. Okay. So six, half of their points have come off. I thought it was more than that, maybe. But Starting to add up there at the end, that's for sure. The Apples have to watch it here. We don't get into foul trouble. There's a couple of kids that already have uh, two fouls yeah. in the first quarter. And they're still playing. We may have someone foul out before half the way we're going. Lions lead by 14 points. Lions will have the ball. Kaiser, over to Weedle, Ryan, yes. Ryan for 15 feet, makes it 28 to 12. Ellsworth with the ball, they trail by 16. Drew Crossing in the game for the Lions, number 40. And yeah, he in a little 2-1-2 uh, yeah. zone here. Nice move there, but no basket, but they retain possession. Ellsworth over in the corner, back out front.
traveling. Yeah. We had that one called. I don't think they quite know what to do with their zone defense. Yeah, either. no, they were just trying to get used to that man to man. Then we switched on them. Lions ball crossing inbounds the ball to Kaiser. Back to Weedle. Ryan with the ball. Back out front. Crumb. Yes. His shot is looking good tonight. Boy, he's got her down. Nice rotation on that ball. Oh. Down. Ellsworth with the ball. 30 to 12. Lions lead. Six minutes, 30 seconds left. First half. Knocked out of bounds by Crum. I don't think there's a quicker pair of hands than that Brandon Crum. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Quick to the ball with his feet and quick hands. Steal you blind. Yes, he will. Steal you blind. Kaiser. Yep. <laughs> there's Kaiser kicks the ball. Ellsworth will retain possession with 6.19 left. First half. From three, boy, he nailed her. Brandon Potek cuts the lead in half. Weedle, swish. Right back at you. Yeah, how you like that, he says. 33-15. That's five points this quarter for Weedle. Stolen by Mortimer. Mort takes it in. Block and foul finally on Ellsworth. Shoot two here, yeah. too. Yeah. Yep. Five minutes, 47 seconds left. First half action. 33 to 15. Lions lead. I knew Mort would beat him to the basket. I just didn't know how yeah. bad he'd get fouled once he got there. He took a pretty good hack, and there's the first shot's good. Ryan will shoot one more. Mortimer, second shot's in there. I think all along, Trace, I really underestimated how good a shooter Ryan Mortimer really is. His, I think his shooting percentage is probably one of the better ones on yeah, the team. Yeah, I, I bet that's right, because he normally doesn't shoot all that he could or should, possibly. Ryan Weedle brings the ball up. Lions with a 20-point lead. Over to Crossan. Crossan to Crum. Back out to Kaiser, Ryan Weedle. He's looking for a shot. Crum for three. Not that time, Mike. Ellsworth comes away with the ball. Five minutes left, first half. Bad pass by Ellsworth. Oh, nice play there. There's Crum. Yes. We can put a bunch of points up quick, can't we? We sure can. 37 to 15. Kaiser steals the ball. He's fouled. Little, little frustration there on Ellsworth's part, I think. Brad Geyser with some quick hands. Yes. Man. Yeah, he's playing more every game. Weedle across the center court. Three-pointer right here, Trace, would sure be a oh, topper. Yes, it would. Weedle over to Mortimer. Out to Kaiser. Weedle. Crumb for three. Yes! He's burning them nets. There you got, you said it, 40 to 15. Lions with a 25 point lead. Seemed like it was just 12 point lead a few minutes ago. Oh, a little ragtag basketball. They aren't gonna give them nothing, are No. They? They thought they had an open 
layup on the backside, and Brandon Crum shut the door and kicked it out of bounds. Lions are just too fast. Tyler Crush and uh, in now from Minneapolis, right? Number 25. Timeout, folks. Three minutes, 42 seconds left. Ellsworth, Ellsworth Coatser is a little upset. We can kind of get him that way. Well. He's a yelling at his team, but I don't think that's going to help a heck of a lot. Lions lead 40 to 15. Good strong first half. I kind of thought we might be in trouble with all the fouls in the first yeah. quarter, but uh, settled that, down with yeah. some good defense here. Still, still getting the turnovers. Yeah. And easy buckets. And they're still getting an open three point look. Oh, and that yeah. Can be deadly, as you well know. Oh, yes. Watching that's... these kids shoot the last two or three years. So. We're ready to resume play with 3.42 left, first half. Ellsworth with the ball. They're foul on Crossan. Drew Crossan with the foul. We can have a pair of cousins out there in two different times, can't we? The Weedles and the Crossans. Sure can. First shot's good. 40 to 16. Barta makes them both. Crum with the ball. Up fast to Mortimer. Ellsworth not quick enough to shut yep. the door on that baseline. Yep. Slides over there and draws, or, uh, Mort draws a foul. He'll shoot a one and one here. Of course, there aren't a lot of guys quick enough. That's to right. <laughs> yeah, we've got an exceptionally quick team, so. Three minutes, 37 seconds left. Mortimer at the line. First shot's good. He'll shoot one more. Is that Ellsworth guard, I think his name's Roar. Yes. That's his uh, third foul. Of course, uh, when you're guarding the likes of our three guards. It, yeah, he's got his work cut out. I would have fouled out yeah. by now. Yeah, I think he needs seven fouls. Second shot, no good. Ellsworth comes away with the ball. 41 to 17, Lions with a 24 point lead. Crum knocks the ball out of bounds. Ellsworth's looking for their shot. Minneapolis back in that zone. Yep. It's uh, not been very kind to them. No. Turnover, Ellsworth. Weedle with the ball over to Crum. Over to Crossan. <laughs> Mortimer. Crum from downtown. Yes. He's Man. the scrub tonight. I mean. Oh, he does. I mean. He's not even hitting the rim. It's all net, folks. Two minutes, 45 seconds left. 44 to 17, Lions lead. Crossing with the rebound, off to Mortimer. Lions move the ball up quick. Nice play there, Mortimer to Crossing. 46, 17, two minutes, 20 seconds left. First half. Walking on Ellsworth. They've kind of taken off that full court press, but yeah. they get starting to get close to that goal. That <laughs> right back on. Yeah, they haven't figured out the first half how to handle our speed, and I don't think they will. Mortimer with the ball. To Brandon Crum, nice pass. Wow. Mortimer to Yeah, Mortimer to Crum. 48 to 17. We might hit 100. 
and Crum might have 20 in the first oh. half. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have some halftime stats for you. That will be interesting to see how many some of our kids have. Ellsworth, no good. They come away with the ball. Well, that was a nice block by Crossan. Got him with a little of the body. Yeah. Think, but, uh, yeah, it was a nice block. Drew Crossan with the foul. First free throw is good. He made them both. Crossing inbounds the ball to Crum. Uh, Mortimer. Crossing too hard off the glass. Minute 30 left, first half. 48-19, Lions lead. For two, too hard. Mortimer with the rebound. Turnover, ball goes back to the Bearcats. What is a Bearcat? You know, I don't know. It evidently is a lot like a Bobcat. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it must be. I don't know, there is such a thing, but maybe it's like a Jayhawk. <laughs> 57 seconds left, first half. Ellsworth with the ball. Baseline move, in and out, no good. Weedle with the rebound. Off to Mortimer. Moore takes it in, left-handed, yes! It's a track mate. Oh man. You keeping up with all the camera work, you think? Fast, fast as they go up and down. 25 seconds left, first half. Elver for three from downtown. Oh! -ho! I thought it was coming out. 50 to 22, there's Crossan inside. He's fouled, he'll shoot two. Tyler Crossan, nice move under the bucket. Kid's really growing. I, the last time I saw him, he was 5'10. Now he's 6'1. Yeah. So, that's awesome growth. First shot by Tyler Crossan was no good. He's a six foot junior. He'll shoot one more. Tyler puts it up. It's good. Ten seconds left. Elver tries to get, we'll try to get a shot off here. Mortimer called for traveling. Three seconds left. Ellsworth kind of out of control there. I thought no. maybe he might get in for traveling. Ellsworth, ball was knocked out of bounds by Mortimer. There's two seconds. Shot was no good. That's the end of the first half. Kind of the way their first half went, Sarah. Yeah. Folks, the end of the first half, 51 to 22. We'll be back with some halftime stats. Good strong first half by Lions there, Trey. Oh, yeah, I mean. All those fouls early, I thought we might be in trouble. Yeah, who, who would have thought we would have a 29-point lead at half? But we'll be back with some halftime statistics and be ready for the start of the second half.
Okay, folks, I'm going to give you a quick rundown here. The point for Minneapolis. Ryan Mortimer with seven. Ryan Weedle with five. Brandon Crum with 21. Josh Lott, five. Luke Weedle, six. Kaiser with four. Tyler Crossan with three. That rounds out 51 points for the Lions. Well, we could just tell by kind of the way the game was flowing that uh, Brandon Crum was having a pretty good first half. Yeah. Quite evident, 21 points in the first half. Minneapolis in a little foul trouble, but it really didn't matter. Whoever they brought in, they just kept on yeah. running. And good tough yeah. defense. Ellsworth outscored Crum uh, by one point. Ellsworth had 22, Crum 21. But folks, we're just seconds away from the start of the second half. Lions looking to remain undefeated in the league. Ellsworth looking to go above 500. 51 to 22. All Lions. We full courted them. That caused them trouble. We zoned them. That caused them trouble. Yeah, not very often they go to uh, a zone, a little bit of foul trouble, and uh, try to stay away from major foul trouble. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, the zone helped out, and we got a few turnovers off yep. that, and uh, quick, easy baskets on oh. the fast break. Lions with a lot of speed. Start of the second half, Ellsworth with the ball. Lions in a man-to-man. -man. Traveling. He takes that first step without a dribble. Weedle brings the ball up. Two more after that. It's kind of like Dr. J. Yes, it is. There's Wheel from downtown. Yes! That was like an NBA three, Mike. That's a good start. Second half, three pointer. Ryan with a wide open look. Oh, yeah. They're going to try it too. Yes, they did. They answered back. Crum takes the baseline. Foul on Ellsworth, pushing, kneeing. Trying to keep Brandon Crum away from that basket. Boy. Crum for two. <laughs> yes. Ian oh man, 23 points for Crum. Six minutes, 51 seconds left. Lions lead 56 to 25. Ellsworth takes it all the way in. Nice move, but Marta Weedle misses the ball. Luke Weedle gets a rebound. Luke Weedle to shoot two. Six foot seven senior. Wish we had him, him for a couple more years. Yeah, that'd be nice. A couple of those other boys are still growing. They might get yeah. there. Second shot's good. 57, 27. Six minutes, 30 seconds left. Third quarter action. Ellsworth with the ball. Nice move there by Ellsworth. Oh, nice in and out. No good. Ball's being fought for. Mortimer comes away with it off the lot. Ellsworth. going to let you grab you well, one time, and he grabbed him the second time, and he's yeah. going to call it, isn't he? Well, they act like, to me, they're playing out of a little frustration. They're doing a lot of hacking, and uh, I won't say cheap, cheap play yet. Josh Lott, turn around from eight. Yes. Boy, it's all, all lines tonight, folks. Six minutes. Third quarter, 59-27.
pushing foul on Mortimer. Bucket, no good. Elsworth with the ball. Roar with it. Guarded by Lot. Here we. Well, it looked like all he could do was reach in, but once it was there, he couldn't touch anything. But yeah. Ball. Ellsworth with the ball from 10 feet in and out. No good. Weedle with the rebound. Ryan brings it up. Off the Mortimer into Josh Lott. Yes, folks. Nice give and go. The crowd's thinned out for Ellsworth, Mike. Five minutes left. Third quarter, 61-27. Three, but not yet. Yep. Maybe three of them. 25 there, Roar is using his elbow. I think the Lions are getting a little frustrated with him. Turnover, Lions. Bearcats with the ball. Roar across the center court, guarded by Weedle. Charging foul. Okay. We're going to get a minute. <laughs> we'll take it. Hit that defense by Minneapolis in the position we had. Player controlled by Ellsworth and going the other way. You said that Roar kid is the fast kid that ran? No, or, it's at uh, Patacek. Patacek. Mortimer with the ball. Quick move into Luke Weedle under the bucket. Yes. Nice assist by Ryan Mortimer. Had him on the arm again. Yes. Luke with a nice step hand steal there and one handed the pass away. That's because the other guy had a hold of his arm. <laughs> He couldn't make it too fast. He was grabbing whatever there was to grab. That was a foul on Bart of Minneapolis with the ball. Four minutes, 10 seconds left, third quarter. 63 to 30 from DeLott. Inside to Weedle. He lays it up left-handed. Nice. It's all Lions, folks. little 35-point lead. Oh, yeah. That'll send the old elderly <laughs> people home quick. Start their cars. I think I'd be safe to tell Dick to go ahead and go on out. Yeah. Get the bus one up. Who's that coach from Boston Celtics? Used to light a cigar, Red Arback? Red Arback, yeah. When he knew the victory was at hand. Shot. Weedle called for a foul. Three minutes, 26 seconds left. Third quarter. Lions with a 35-point lead. Ellsworth from 10. Mortimer, yes! Oh, we lot with the steal. Back to Mortimer. Another bucket, 69 to 30. Three minutes left, third quarter. Ellsworth needs a timeout, Mike Perry. Yeah, number 25 is so frustrated. He's just throwing elbows and everything. He is, I don't really like that. I think he's asked, cruising for a bruising. He's cruising now. Coach Williams put that full court <laughs> pressure back on again. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to give him a break, but he won't take advantage of it. A couple of steals there and a couple of quick buckets. Yeah. 
Ryan didn't even make it across the yeah. quarter court and the ball was coming back his way. But yeah. Bad, so Ellsworth not taking care of the ball and Minneapolis willing to take advantage of the easy bucket. Oh yeah, we we have just run him into the ground with three minutes left, third quarter. Lions with a 39 point lead. Ellsworth coach, he's a little frustrated talking to his team down there. I could hear him up here saying, take care of the ball. Well, I said to him, you get out there and try it. Yeah. I mean, that's easier said than done, coach. You get against this de defense of the Lions. Ellsworth has the ball. Roar with the ball. Man-to-man -man defense by the Lions. Josh Law called for the foul for holding. Lock comes out. Luke Weedle, Ryan Mortimer comes out. Drew Crossing in. Brad Kaiser, Joe Zucker. Three point shot by Roar. No good. Crossing just in the game, gets a rebound. Crumb. Off to Joe Zucker. Oh, look at that pass to Crossing. He's fouled. The Ellsworth said he traveled. Well, the refs like calling fouls, they call the foul. Lions still have a chance to hit 100. I mean, the pace we're going, but I've never seen that by a high school uh, Lions. Yeah, I think, uh, I, even with uh, Drew Weedle and Nelson and that group went yeah. through there, they came close a couple times. Yeah, but. they were a salty bunch. Crossing. They could put the ball in the hoop. Yes, they could. They were a great team their senior year, junior year, 71 to 30. Ellsworth with the ball. Lions man to man. A foul. Do referees get paid by the foul? I didn't think so. Or by how long the game takes. <laughs> Brandon Trump's first foul. Ellsworth having trouble. Crossing comes away. Traveling. Two minutes, 18 seconds left. Oh, right under the bucket. Nice play by the Bearcats. Crumb with the ball. Brad Kaiser into crossing. Back to Kaiser. Three seconds. Good call. One of those guys would have to shoot to shoot the ball. Both of them had a pretty good look. Yep, yeah, we got stuck inside the lane too long. We're under two minutes left, folks. Third quarter action. Kaiser knocks the ball, but Ellsworth retains possession. In and out, no good. Crum with the rebound. Substitution for the Lions. Crossin comes out. Crum comes out. Luke Weedle and Josh Lott come back in. Minute 41 left, third quarter. Roar with the ball. From 15 feet. In there for the Bearcats. Lions bring it up quick. Weedle from 15 feet. No good. Now that was a foul. Yeah. There, we will not dispute that a bit. There's Josh Lott. 
That could be his pick. I think it is. I think he's just waiting to hear hear the. Lost foul with a minute eight seconds in the third quarter. Uh, we tried to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> he takes his place at the end of the bench. He knows his night's over. Well, he got some money out of that last foul anyway. I'll say that. Ellsworth brings the ball up past the center court. Down to Roar. For three points. Oh, I'll tell you what, folks. That pot checker, you can hit. Wheeler with the ball. 71 to 37. Into Luke Wheedle. He's fouled. The bucket is good. They have no answer for him, Mike. He's just too big, too good. They get the ball deep into him. Oh, my. Oh, that's pretty well automatic. Luke's gone left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. <laughs> I mean, makes a three point play there for Mr. Wheedle. 74 37. 40 seconds left, third quarter. Oh, crummy. Oh, looky there. Yes, Weedle. Two hands up there. Almost. Yeah, that was, you know, that's called a high school dunk. 76-37. Six seconds left. Ellsworth wants to get a shot off. Oh, at the buzzer. Try to make it sound as dramatic as I can. 76 to 39, the Lions with a 37 point lead. Yeah, that was That was a last second shot. That was 76, Ellsworth 39 and not too many answers for Big Luke inside. No. Put that ball in that deep. No. It looks like it might be his, uh, his that last stuff. Oh. Might have been his last bucket too. <laughs> the crowd was ready for that, or the Lions fans were anyhow. Cameron Knox goes as far as that, and uh, I like Coach Williams will play reserves the rest yes. of the way. Might as, well, might as well give him some playing time. We might need him late in the season. That's for sure, but I, it'd be kind of nice to uh, go ahead and put that full court pressure back on. Yeah, it'd be nice to hit 100 <laughs> if you're a Lions fan. This is a scrappy bunch yep. right here, right here. Cameron Knox, crossing, two crossings. And he definitely looks like he's 6'4", 240, doesn't he? Yes. He's a big man. Oh, yeah. I just unplugged foot. Tracy. My foot was in the way, so hang on with me here just a second. Okay, folks, we're back. You didn't miss much action. Ellsworth comes away with a steal. We'll try to make this sound as exciting as we can the last quarter. Just a good touch on the floor right here. Defensively, Alex Resnick, Tyler Crossan, and there's some extra hustle by Alex. Tyler Crossan, uh, Cameron Knox, and Drew Crossan and Joe Zicker. Into Crossan, takes three in too hard, no good. Ellsworth comes away with the ball. Seven minutes, 15 seconds left in the game. 76 to 41. Lions lead in case you just joined us. It's been all Lions tonight. Ball stolen, Resnick with the he brings it up quick. Off to Zoe Zucker. Oh, nice pass. Jump ball. Boy, that was nice. nice pass yeah, there. it was. I did. Zucker comes out. Brad, uh, Trevor Atkins, excuse me. That's his dad, Brad. Well, that's Ellsworth's ball. We're under seven minutes. Thank goodness. Oh, 
Ellsworth with the ball. Baseline move. Back out front. Nice block by Resnick. Out of bounds. Ellsworth. Ball belongs to the Lions. I like Resnick with a block. 5'11", Junior. Uh, Resnick comes out. There's Ecker back in. Knox with the ball. Over to Atkins. No good by Ellsworth. Lions with the ball. Night for Roar, oh. and he missed that layup. Yeah. There, so. Okay, I say watch out for his elbows, boys. He'll be throwing them. Resnick with the ball. Off to, off to Knox. Pass down low to Drew, yeah. and it just wasn't there. Too many people in the way. Cameron Knox comes away with the rebound. Zucker over to Crossan. <laughs> Drew was fouled by number 33, or was it 21? 33, he's gone for the night. Two when you're playing against 6-7, it's, no. it's a long night. <laughs> He's probably not really sad he fouled out. Ball was no good by the free, free throw, was no good by the Lions. Knocked out of bounds by Knox. No, knocked out of bounds by Ellsworth. Lions with the ball, Resnick. Inside to Cameron Knox, he lays it up, no good. He gets the rebound, he'll put her back up again. Charging foul, they call. <laughs> Time out. Coach Cameron missed that first one. Little went with the left hand. And After all that, he comes away with a charging foul. Five minutes, 41 seconds left. Lions with a 35-point lead. Coach Williams giving instruction to the Lions. Got Coach Shoup, Coach Harris down there. Coach Harris was our junior high coach. Wow. That's been a few years, Mike. Yeah, I'm still tired from all that running. He made me do. And us guys that sat on the bench all the time, we still had to do all the running in practice. I mean, there was no difference there, just in the game play. Coach has uh, been instrumental in uh, bringing the young players along. Oh, yeah. Freshman sophomores has really given Coach Williams a big boost to have a quality young coach. Um, coach Shoup, especially his insight in the college ball that he's played, gives the boys a yeah, he, pretty good idea of what's yeah. going on. And, uh, he, had, he had a nice career down at Bethany. They play tough. They play well for all three coaches. They, If they don't, they line it up and run. That's right. <laughs> Ellsworth across the center court. Five minutes, 30 seconds left in this game. Lions haven't scored this quarter, Mike. I don't think. Ellsworth for two. Crossing over to Zucker, back to Crossing. Alex Resnick with the ball. Zucker, nice move, baseline. Five minutes left. The crowd's getting thinner. Well, that's kind of a new twist on things, but. 
good experience for Ellsworth to uh, lace it up against a quality team in Minneapolis yep. and let their program know where they're going to have to be if they're yep. going to be up there with the uh, yep. upper yep. 500. They need more points, less anger. Ball no good. Oh, Cameron knocks with the foul. We're seeing a little ragtag here, Mike. Four minutes, 49 seconds left. Down in front. <laughs> First shot good. He'll shoot one more. Brad Barta. In and out, no good. Ball to Minneapolis. Yeah. Race. I thought maybe Alex had tipped it out. That 25, you gotta watch him. He's a shoving this little. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Lions. I don't think we'll hit 100, Mike. Lions in a man-to-man -man defense. Shots, no good. Ellsworth with the ball. Turn around from eight feet. He's fouled by Brad Kaiser. There's 10 fouls on the Lions. Good effort by this bunch of underclassmen out here. They're playing. Valuable plus, experience. Plus one senior there, I guess. Brad Kaiser's back in. 76, 43, four minutes, 17 seconds left. He makes them both. Resnick brings it up off to Zoe Zucker. He's fouled by Roar. Well, I usually will call a foul on that. Yeah, I mean, they act surprised. <laughs> they called it the whole game. Zucker at the line. Swish. Pretty consistent all the way through the game. They called the fouls pretty tight. Yeah. They tried to keep the game under control. Minneapolis with uh, pressure, pressure defense. At, uh... Here we go. Foul. Double bonus time. So. Yeah, they'll shoot two on every foul. Look what's coming in. Looks like we got five people coming in for the Lions. Yes, Coach says you're going to keep playing your starting five. Yeah. Back in, so. With the exception of Tyler Cross and Josh Lott is fouled out. Ellsworth has become a rival ever since that controversial football game from several years back. There's Mortimer from 15 feet, no good. Wheedle comes down with the rebound. Minneapolis just out hustling Ellsworth after the ball. Oh, Crumb with a, oh, we'll give, we'll give him a break. From downtown, no good. Teammates kind of got tangled up. There. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, three minutes, 49 seconds left. Zucker brings the ball up. Across the center court, gives it to Atkins. Trevor with the ball. Back to Crossan. Inside, oh, ball being fought for. Zucker comes away with it. That Kaiser like to got mugged. Oh, there. man. Crossan 
In the Atkins. Turnaround, no good. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Trevor's a sophomore. He'll be seeing a lot of action in future years, I'm sure, for the Lions. Especially if he grows it a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> Six foot tall, I yeah. think now, isn't it? Got a nice left hand yeah. throw. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, like oh yeah, that. that's you gotta love a lefty. Kaiser comes out, Crossing comes in. That's Kaiser with another good game, he had a good one up at uh, yeah. Rock Creek and another good one here tonight. Yeah, Rock Creek, the game you wondered where I was at. Yeah, where, well, where? No. Three minutes, 18 seconds left. Lions by 34 points. Ellsworth looking for their shots. Great second. Great second call on Ellsworth. We've had a few turnovers. Oh. Cameron Knox and Alex Resnick back in for Minneapolis. Three minutes left in this game. Atkins with the ball. Zucker. Ball taken away by Ellsworth. Little turnaround from six feet. No good. Ellsworth gets the rebound. Where'd that little guy go? Well, by from? golly, that's what we're, I'm wondering. He might be their post player of the future. Crossing back to Zucker, 224 left. Alec Resnick with the ball. Knox. Atkins over to Resnick. Resnick baseline move from 15 feet. Yes. All right. Well, probably more like 10 feet, but. Nice baseline yeah. move by Alec Resnick. Two minutes. Count it. 120 seconds. Well, that number 20 learned well on the bench. Might as well come in and foul. You learned everyone up and down the roster on the app with got quick hands. Oh, yes. Joe Zucker will shoot two here. We're in double bonus. Four shots good. Not too many points this fourth quarter, but uh, starting to put them on. Yeah. 83-47, minute 53 left. Resnick with the ball. In the Knox. Charging foul on Cameron. He doesn't think so, but I think he did. That's his third. Wow. <laughs> but that's not surprising. I no. Strong foul, so. Charging foul on Ellsworth now. Back and forth they go. That's his second foul, number 20. If he averages a foul per minute, well, he'll, he'll last the game. Minute 20 left. Zucker with the ball. Balls taken away by Ellsworth. Minute 11. Trevor Atkins steals the ball. He'll take her in left-handed. Nice play by Atkins. He 
56 seconds. Well, he tried it and he got a foul called. Eighty-five, forty-nine. We're under one minute. Well, Jay, pretty solid effort. Yes, it is. I mean, from the from the outgo, we had him. Put on cruise control, second half there. And yes, we did. Well, we did almost have a forty-point lead. Oh yeah, I mean, it's we're down to thirty-four now. In the knocks, he backs in. The ball stolen. Ellsworth, no good. Atkins with the ball. Zucker comes away with it. Oh, to Crossan, back to Zucker. In the camera, Knox. Blocked by Ellsworth, they retain possession. 17 seconds left. Atkins, rebound. Out to Resnick, he's a junior. He'll shoot from 12 feet. He's got three fouls. He's going to make the box score. Oh, no. no. Oh, that's right. Now, okay. I thought it was number 22, I did, but I did I'm not sure it wasn't. But Alex will shoot too here. Off the rim, no good. He'll shoot one more, folks. With six seconds left, we'll have a little post game for you here and give you the final statistics. In and out, no good. Three. Char. Uh. Well, he ran into his own man and fell down and traveled. <laughs> Not everyone can do that. One second left. Oh, oh. folks, ball game's over. 85 to 51. This is Trace Tree. Mike Perry will be back with some final statistics. We're waiting here to get the final statistics to you. The crowd's thinning out. Lions look good tonight. We had them from the very start. Poured it on them. To give you some final scores for Minneapolis, we won 85 to 45, I believe. Mortimer has 11 points. Ryan Weedle eight. Brandon Crum, Crum 23. Josh Lott nine. Luke Weedle 16. Brad Kaiser four. Zucker with three. Drew Weedle or Drew Crossan with two. Tyler Crossan with three. Alec Resnick with two, and Trevor Atkins with four rounds out the scoring for the Lions, which should be 85 points. Solid effort all the way up and down the bench. All of them, man. I thought a real good game. Yes, and what's kind of amazing is, in a sense, uh, Brandon only scored a couple points the second half, and so did uh, Weedle, and yet we still won by, by plenty. So this is Trace Cree along with Mike Perry. We brought you the game tonight. We hope you enjoyed it. Next game is Tuesday night at... Abilene for the girls. The boys will play in oh, Sterling for the, the, the tournament. Yeah.
So we'll, we'll see somebody in Sterling, Kansas. This is Trace Cree, Mike Perry, and Jerry Cree signing off. Catch you next week.